Hello my sax playing friend, Alexander Mathias here from saxophonemasterclass.com. I am so excited about this three day saxophone transformation challenge and I hope you are too because I'm going to show you the three pillars of how you can transform your saxophone playing. Even if you haven't been playing that long, even if you feel like you're taking up the saxophone later in life, even if you can't read sheet music, even if you feel like you're not talented, if you have these three pillars in your life, you can start seeing results faster than ever. These are the three pillars that I have personally had in the last 25 years playing the saxophone. That includes 10 years of formal music education at places like Royal Irish Academy of Music in Dublin, Ireland where I'm from, as well as Berklee College of Music in Boston where I studied for my music degree. Because of these three pillars of saxophone transformation, I was able to then go and make a career playing the saxophone for the last 15 years. I've toured the world, I've recorded on top 10 selling albums, I've played on computer games, TV shows, commercials and movies and I've even put my own music out as an artist and none of this would have been possible if I didn't have these three pillars in my life. So I'm really excited to share all this through the three day saxophone transformation challenge because I know that you're going to be able to see results with these three pillars as well. I've been teaching thousands of students over the last 20 years through my online courses, through my online membership, as well as one-to-one -one coaching. And when my students have these three pillars in their life, I can see the transformation happen faster than ever. So maybe you just started on a saxophone, or maybe you're taking it up after a really long break, or maybe you've been playing a couple of years on and off, but you're still struggling with getting the results you want. You're still struggling with learning your favorite songs on a saxophone. You're still struggling with getting a nice tone on a saxophone. You're still trying to get all the fingerings and all the notes on the saxophone. Maybe you want to start learning to play by ear or jam with a band or just be able to play your favorite songs to a backing track. Whatever your goals are on the sax, these three pillars are going to help you with getting results faster. So without further ado, here are the three pillars of how you can transform your saxophone playing. The number one pillar is constructive criticism. If you want to see results, if you want to see transformation in your saxophone playing, you need to get constructive criticism from a qualified teacher. You need to get that feedback on exactly what it is you have to work on to achieve the results you want, to achieve the goal that you have for your playing, whether it's trying to learn a song, whether it's trying to improve your tone, you need to know exactly what you need to be working on in order to achieve that goal. And the best way to achieve that is through constructive criticism because we're all on a different level. We're all on a different stage in this path to mastering the saxophone. And so the constructive criticism you're gonna get is gonna be different depending on what stage you're at. And so here's why constructive criticism is so important. Number one, you need to know exactly what it is you need to work on depending on what stage in your saxophone journey you're in. Meaning, if you have trouble with getting consistent notes out on a saxophone, for example, there isn't just one solution for that. There's multiple solutions. There's multiple things that you could do to work on that. And you need to get the correct advice depending on your stage. So you might be encouraged to practice really simple exercises if you're in the beginner stage. And maybe if you're more advanced, you're given more advanced exercises. So it's really important to get constructive criticism based on your level. Number two, it gives you actionable steps for you to take in order to get to the next stage. It gives you actionable steps in order to overcome the roadblocks you're facing in that moment. It might just be one simple technique that when you learn it, you're able to see an improvement in a matter of days. I've had this happen with a lot of my students where I just show them one thing and they see an instant transformation. So it's really important that someone knows exactly what you need to work on depending on your stage so it's not overwhelming, it's not confusing, and it's easy to understand. And number three, you need that support, you need that encouragement through constructive criticism from a qualified coach that's gonna tell you what you're doing right. So you can continue to do the right things and know that you're on the right path 
in certain areas of your plan. This is just going to give you a lot more confidence, which is so important if you want to see more transformation in your saxophone playing. So that's pillar number one, constructive criticism. And I'm going to give you a lot more examples of why constructive criticism is so important in today's lesson. But let me move on to pillar number two. Pillar number two is curated coaching. So number one, you need to have a systematic approach to learning the saxophone in order to know exactly where you are in your journey. So I have something called the Saxophone Mastery System that breaks everything down into five core principles that you can focus on individually. And this is really important to break everything down systematically so you know exactly what to work on to improve certain areas of your playing. You also want to get personalized coaching. You want to be able to get your questions answered. You need to know what to work on if you want to improve different areas in your playing. So for example, if you come to me with a question and you're saying, I'm struggling with this, I can tell you, well, focus on this core principle inside the saxophone mastery system and that's really going to help improve that aspect of your playing. So there's a systematic approach to learning. You need curated coaching in order to truly understand what it is you need to work on. And you need to have this coaching on a regular basis. You can't just pick up a couple of tips from YouTube or from a book and then hope for the best. You need to get coaching on a regular basis so you can be inspired, you can keep focused, you can stay encouraged on this journey to mastering the saxophone. So I'm going to get a lot more into my saxophone mastery system tomorrow. I'm going to show you exactly how I break down everything you need to know about mastering the saxophone. So make sure to tune in tomorrow for that, as I'm gonna give you some great examples of what I mean. And then finally, pillar number three is last but not least, a caring community. This was so important for me in the initial stages of my journey, and it's so important for you too. You need to have a community that you can call on. You need to have a community that you can share your progress with, share your frustrations with, or even just ask questions without feeling like you're gonna get negative feedback, without feeling like someone's gonna tear you down. You need a caring community to be able to get that encouragement. And that's because environment is stronger than will. If you're doing this alone, it's gonna be much easier to give up. It's gonna be much easier to not practice. It's gonna be much easier to feel demotivated. But if you have a community to call on, if you have a support system, then that's gonna keep you focused. That's gonna keep you motivated. And you're gonna start seeing more transformation in your saxophone playing just from having that support system. And what happens in the caring community is that you start making friends. And now you can have individual people that you can call up, you can message, you can share your progress with, you can ask questions to, maybe even jam together, maybe even practice together. And this is so important when it comes to progressing on the saxophone. So they're the three pillars of saxophone transformation. And I personally had these three pillars as I was learning the saxophone. And that's why I'm able to make a career from this instrument. That's why I'm able to play saxophone in any musical situation. That's why I'm able to jam with other musicians. That's why I'm able to learn any song. And I wanted to create a similar experience for my students because my students were learning from my courses, they were learning from my videos, they were learning from one-on-one, -on -one, but I wanted to give them the full experience of curated coaching, constructive criticism, and a caring community. And that's why I created the Sax Circle Coaching Community. I offer these three pillars inside that community and I'm going to show you more about what you get when you become a member over the coming days but the power of this community is that it's all online and anybody can join from anywhere in the world so I actually have people from England I have people from Scotland I have people from Ireland I have people from all over the US and I even have people from Malaysia inside this community and everyone congregates together to get constructive criticism from me to get curated coaching and to be part of a caring community and you need all three in your life and we're going to talk more in detail about all three over these three days but today i just want to talk about constructive criticism and how it transformed my playing even from an early stage and also give you examples of how my students transform their playing with constructive criticism from me so when i started out on the saxophone i got really really excited i really wanted to start playing my favorite songs and when i picked it up i started trying to play noel the christmas song and it didn't sound very good it kind of sounded something like this
you get the idea. I wasn't playing in rhythm, I wasn't able to get the notes out consistently, I kept going down low when I wanted to play high, I kept playing high when I wanted to play down low, and I just started getting really frustrated. And I was wondering, why can't I play this song? Now, it wasn't until I went into my teacher that he showed me exactly what I needed to do. Now, the first thing he showed me was, make sure you're able to get a good tone. And this is actually one of my core principles from the saxophone mastery system. How to get a great tone on a saxophone. And one of the first things he showed me was how to breathe correctly. Now breathing correctly is one of the most important things to do when you're practicing the saxophone, when you're trying to learn how to play a song. If you don't know how to breathe correctly, you're not going to be able to get the notes out consistently and you're going to start running out of breath. So he actually showed me the way you need to practice your breathing and it didn't even involve using the saxophone. It just involved breathing from the diaphragm. So he literally had me just stand there and breathe. <sighs> While taking air from my diaphragm. And just that simple technique alone helped me with improving my tone on the sax. The next thing he showed me was that you need to start pressing the octave key in the right place. Again, I didn't know any of this stuff, but because of the constructive criticism he was giving me, I was able to understand exactly what to do and not get overwhelmed and frustrated with why I can't get the song. So eventually he started showing me the exact fingerings on the sax as well, and I was able to understand what notes to play while I was playing the Noel song. Well, within a few days of just getting these simple techniques shown to me, I was able to play the song pretty well. All because I was breathing correctly, all because I was pressing the octave key in the right place, all because of the simple techniques that I needed to know at the stage I was at. Now some of that might be obvious to you, but at that time it wasn't obvious to me. And it was so important to understand these simple things in order to progress, in order to move forward. Because what would have happened is that well, I would have kept playing the song the exact same way without knowing what I was doing wrong. And I would have never been able to start playing it well because I wouldn't know exactly what to do. I wouldn't know the exact fingerings. I wouldn't know how to breathe correctly. I wouldn't know when to press the octave key. And I just would have ended up getting frustrated and overwhelmed. So getting that construct of criticism was so important, especially in the early stages of my playing. Now maybe you're not a complete beginner, maybe you've been playing several months, several years. Well the same thing still applies. You might be working on something in the wrong way. So for example, here's one of my students, Pat Gill. I've improved more in the last three months since joining the Sack Circle coaching community than I have in the previous 17 months. Right away I noticed a massive difference in my sound after Alexander showed me the correct embouchure. I've improved tenfold. I had private lessons before, but the first teacher told me all wrong. Alexander is always there to answer any questions about the saxophone. Really professional guidance. It is like a one-on-one -on -one personal class. And I showed him one technique, how to change his embouchure from a thin lip approach to a fat lip approach. And when I showed him that, he was able to see a tenfold improvement in his saxophone playing. And he'd already been playing for 17 months. So I just showed him a simple trick. Instead of doing your embouchure, where you put your lip right over your bottom teeth, you actually do a the shape. The. So you go the. And wherever your top teeth meet your bottom lip, the. That's where you want to place your mouthpiece. Ba. And what happens is it creates sort of a thicker lip in your bottom lip. Instead of a thin lip, which is just putting your lip right over your teeth like this. You're going ba. <laughs> and 
and that way you can get a bigger sound. So I showed Pat that technique and he saw a massive improvement in his playing. But he had been wasting his time with the wrong embouchure for months, over 17 months before I showed him that. And he could have saved himself so much time and so much money if he had just gotten the correct constructive criticism and the correct coaching. So this is the power of constructive criticism from an experienced coach. If you get the right information at the right time, you can see transformation in your playing, you can see results in your playing quicker than ever. And that's why constructive criticism is one of the three pillars of seeing transformation in your saxophone playing. So I want to give you another example of how I give constructive criticism to my students inside the Sax Circle coaching community. And I want to show you how I give different constructive criticism depending on their level, depending on what stage they're at. So we're inside the Sax Circle coaching community and this is one of my students, Joe Hamilton. He posted his video for feedback from me. So let's have a listen. <laughs> So Joe was sounding pretty good here. He'd only been playing a few weeks. This was back in February 28th, 2021. And I gave him some feedback on his progress. I said, this is great, Joe. So impressed with your progress after only a few weeks of playing. And so on and so forth until I started giving him specific exercises to work on. So in order to improve his tone, in order to get more consistency with playing longer notes, I said work on your mouthpiece and neck exercises. I said work on your long tone exercises and I was able to link him to the exercises. So I click on this link and it links to this page where I actually demonstrate the exercise step by step and give him a way of practicing to the exercise. And that's because he has access to my course Saxophone Success which is a beginner course I created for people that are just starting on the saxophone. So let's go back and see what other feedback I give. You'll also see some additional exercises in that last link regarding long tones. So this is another exercise for him to practice. This is from my other course, Mastering Your Saxophone Tone. And again, I have all the exercises step by step inside the course that he can practice to. So he was able to work on these exercises, listen to me demonstrate the exercises, and start to truly improve his playing based on the level that he was at. And again, I go into telling him about practicing legato, about how he can learn about legato tonguing, how he can learn to apply legato tonguing to Silent Night, it's all in the feedback I gave him so that he knows exactly what to practice next. So that's just an example of the kind of constructive criticism I give my students. But let's fast forward now to a more recent video. So here we are a year later, March 7th, 2022. Let's take a listen to Joe. So here we are a year later, Joe's playing a much more advanced song called Unchained Melody. He's doing really great. He's progressing so much because I've been giving him feedback, constructive criticism every single month for over a year. And this time I give him different feedback. This is now totally different constructive criticism. I say, nice work, Joe. You're getting all the right notes and playing along with good rhythm, which is great. So I give him encouragement. I make sure that he knows what he's doing right. 
I say you're clearly getting into it and enjoying yourself, which I love to see. Then I say this song uses the middle C key a lot, which can be hard to keep a full and round tone with. It would be great if you were to do some warm ups on the low C overtone to work on this. You can practice it using this exercise here. So this is now a whole different exercise for improving his tone. I gave him simpler exercises when he was starting out, but now a year later he's become more advanced. I give him more advanced exercises. And again, this is the Mastering Your Saxophone Tone course that I link him to in order to help him with his overtone exercises. I give him multiple exercises, I demonstrate everything, and I play all the exercises for him. So remember to tongue that first C when you play it, but don't tongue the low C. Make sure to slur it into that. So again, you want to hold that overtone on the low C for as long as possible. Now, there's two things that could happen here. You might get the overtone at first and then crack and go down to the low C like this. So that's one thing that might happen. And the other thing that might happen is that you might go up to the second overtone by accident, which is the high G with the octave key. So as you can see, I'm demonstrating exactly what he needs to work on at the stage that he is at. And that's why it's so important to get constructive criticism. I'm still encouraging him to improve his tone, but now I'm giving him different exercises because he's now more advanced. And this is what he has to say. He says, the Sax Circle coaching community is the best music education I have ever had. And I'm learning so much more every day. I think Alexander is a very good teacher and he could not be better. What I love most is learning new songs and playing them, which I never thought I could do. I keep looking back at my first video of me playing and I look at where I am now and I see I have improved a lot in my tone. So that's just an example of how I give constructive criticism to my students inside the Sax Circle coaching community. You can see I gave specific exercises when they were in the beginner stage of their journey. And as they progressed, as they got better, I was able to give them even more advanced exercises so they can truly take their playing to the next level. It's not about giving you all the information in one go. It's about giving you the right information at the right time. And that's what constructive criticism is. It's about getting the right information information at the right time and that's what you need in order to see more transformation in your plan. Now I want to talk more about the exact system that I used to coach my students and I mentioned that I created my own system called the saxophone mastery system and I'm going to talk more about the saxophone mastery system in detail on day two but just to give you an overview the saxophone mastery system consists of five core principles and these five core principles are what you need to focus on in order to master the sax. Their tone, scales, technique, improvisation and embellishments. And this encompasses everything you need to know in order to achieve all of your goals. So say if you have goals like you want to learn songs by ear or maybe you just want to improve your tone on the saxophone especially in the high notes and the low notes. Or maybe you're trying to improvise so you can jam with other musicians or over backing tracks. Or maybe you just want to figure out how you can learn the fingerings of your favorite songs. Whatever your goals are on the saxophone, the saxophone mastery system will help you with that. So I'm super excited to give you an example of how these five core principles help you with improving your saxophone skills and learning your favorite songs. So make sure to check in for day two. In the meantime, please comment below what your goals are on a saxophone. What is it that you want to learn? What is it that you're struggling with when it comes to playing the sax and seeing progress in your playing? Maybe you're trying to learn your favorite song. Maybe you have the goal of playing in public or just playing in your local band or playing in your local church. Maybe you're just trying to get that sound on the sax, just like the players on your favorite records. Whatever your goals are, please let me know. Just comment below this lesson. I'd love to know. All right, my friend, I really hope you got a lot out of this. Please let me know if you did and make sure to tune in for day two where I'm going to go into more detail on the saxophone mastery system to really help you with improving your skills on the sax. I promise you're going to get a lot out of it. So please tune in for day two and until then, happy playing.